Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why did they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, behave. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me Cupid with a bow and arrow, behave. We're going to go from Capricorn to Sagittarius. It's Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. We're going to go in that order. Let's start now with Capricorn. Brutally honest messages from your person to you. What's the most brutal thing they can say to you right now? Oh, they want peace. They don't want brutality, darling. They said no more brutality, Capricorn. Your person said, uh-uh, not me. I'm not going there. The judgment here is a sense of solace. This is my Red Cross card. This is a person who wants to reconcile anything that's outstanding, reconcile and come to a place of peace. Uh, this is someone who actually struggles with conflict sometimes, even if they have it often. They just don't want it. And they're coming to a place of relief. This is somebody who wants to grow up. I don't care if they're 79 years old. They still want to grow up. They want to get over whatever it is that could be holding you back. Um, I think they think of you sweetly you go wah, wah, and they think of you sweetly this is a shy person Capricorn tame down your energy on this shy person don't put all your feelers into them okay that's what they're saying very brutally and honestly aren't they all right you've also got somebody here who's given you a lot of time you know it's funny they're talking about their time as if it's an asset they're saying that you know what I normally would not give that much time to people but I've given it to you and I'd like like some respect for that uh, they'd like some respect for their time and energy i don't know how you're going to take that but i'm just delivering the messages don't blame the messenger this person has a family that they're very well aware of and their family means everything to them uh, this is a family person if this person has lost their family or is not close to their family this is somebody who would want to build and so it's very hard to just come into this person's life and tell them what to do and dictate they will not be open to it they're very resistant to advice because they feel like they have all the wisdom there with the hermit card um they also feel like, you know, this has gone round for a while between the two of you and some of it has to just let, be left up to the universe is what they feel. I mean, sometimes, you know, pushing and struggling and trying to make certain things happening is not the key here. Um, this person has a belief system, right? Wheel of Fortune, the star card, those cards are indicative of a belief system this person has and they would go to lengths to defend their beliefs. Wow, what a very interesting person Personality. This feels like somebody who was conservatively raised somehow. I don't care if they were raised in the jungle. Something about them and their values is coming through here. And they're coming to a place of peace and reconciliation, particularly with you. This is somebody who's very fond of you. Look at them showing all that emotion. Lover's card, two of cups and the knight of cups. That's somebody who doesn't joke around with you, Capricorn. If you think they do, they don't. They're telling you right now they feel very strongly about you, but they're not going to go to war with you. You come across very strongly strongly Capricorn I could tell just from the what your person was saying I was like oh boy I don't know what Cappy's doing but Cappy is somebody who does not play you wield a lot of power in your hands there the magician showing that of course um, and it bothers you right you don't want to feel subconscious about your power you know I'm only teasing please don't feel subconscious about it if that's who you are this is how you were raised you went through a lot of challenges particularly during childhood that taught you to be very self-defensive to protect yourself and to come across as a boss some of you may have two choices in love that you're looking at. Um, one of them could be from work or something that you're doing project wise, but you have your eyes set on whom you want. This is the person right there. That's why the king came to meet his queen. Doesn't matter does not matter your gender or sexuality now just because you have your eye on someone and it's probably this person doesn't mean that you know you're not tricky you've got some tricks up your sleeve you've got choices showing up here and you do want to reconcile you want peace and you respect this person's family and voice however um with this showing up here, it looks like you're going to give this person a chance. So forget all these choices. King and Queen of Wands, they are divine counterparts. It seems like you, you, you know, look, twos are very, <laughs> you're making it seem like it's a choice. Some of you have really been so used to be so self, being so self-sufficient uh, that you are in conflict when you find somebody with emotions for you. So you wear this mask as if you're so strong. Meanwhile, you're like, woo, I hope to goodness 
it is my wish that I can be with this person. And that's what's showing up here in terms of the star card. I think both of you are wishing for each other. And I think both of you see a path here that could take you a bit longer term with the Ten of Cups. It's just calculating how to get there that's left over. And this person can be very pained by your words, Capricorn. So please just remember when you, you know, draw ire or use a lot of communication and strength and all of that that this person you know just wants to sort of make peace this is a red cross card they're very shy you know they can be very guarded and you know they could have kids or you know just have a playful side about them and you know a prayerful side for some of you a prayerful side is being picked up here as well something very spiritual capricorn you believe in magic but honey you come across very strongly okay let's move on now to aquarius what's your person's listen everybody fast forward the end of this video will always have a bonus reading for all signs as well as a motivational talk but aquarius listen uh your person's brutally honest message to you uh they, this is somebody who's talking to you about your speech your communication that's the the knight of swords is all about communication and speech and this is somebody who's telling you here that something about your speech and your communication is possibly challenging the way they're able to access you they feel like you you want to control all communication uh this, that's what the swords rule however this person thinks you're absolutely beautiful and wants to grow with you yeah look at that they're approaching you in love. Um, they feel that you wield a lot of the power in this connection. Um, they want to take a particular action towards you. Um, and they want it to be something that's loving. <clears throat> I don't know why they're so confused. Like so, they feel like they have to weigh their options first before they take this action. Why is that? It seems like, you know, you have a, <laughs> oh, so are you the picky kind? So you have a way, a certain way that, you know, you like to be pleased. If it's not that way, it's damned if this person does, damned if they do. That's how they feel. And it causes conflict between the two of you. And it feels like this person is stuck sometimes. They can't really appeal to you in the way that you want because sometimes you make them feel childish. They're trying to grow up here. They do see themselves with you though. I mean, if you, especially if you have kids with them, but even if you don't, this is the Empress and the Emperor showing up. They are divine counterparts. It doesn't matter your gender or sexuality. I mean, this person certainly sees you in their world. Um, you are wishing for this person, um, but you don't know all the time how to handle the conflict that you have with them. I talked about wishing. Well, this is the wish card, star card. It also represents you, Aquarius, in tarot. It is something that points to you healing, trying to figure out how to approach your person yeah but you don't know because it's covered by the moon you're trying to figure out how to work with your person without it always ending up in a, in a space of argumentation conflict or somebody doing something they regret so you're going to you want to talk to this person right um eight of wands energy is indicative of that even if you don't well you're going to because the eight of wands is coming up here you also have a deep passion for this person that you can't explain sometimes i think for some of you you see glimpses of somebody who is familiar in this person possibly maternal you have feared a lot of times that this is something that's wrapping up, coming to an end. Both of you have turned your backs on each other. Yeah, there's been some sort of disaster here. I don't know. I think also an ultimatum on commitment with the Hierophant card showing you trying to explore your options, keep things open, but you have a problem trusting people anyway. So I don't even know how you're going to deal with that. All you're dealing with here is a lot of people and a lot of pain and heartbreak. You need to get it together, Aquarius. You're spiraling. You're going all over the place and uh, you don't know how to get your person to give you what you want what you want is more giving they see what you want they're trying to give it to you they're trying to grow up they're trying to you know be that image that you have of them however there's something here in your speech something here in the way you both talk that is causing crashes and conflicts you see there are too many fives i told you guys fives in tarot are always a challenge you've pulled three of possible four okay you've got the five of swords five of pentacles and the five of wands aquarius so you've had a lot of you know conflict and challenge when it comes to dealing with this person and people have already told you about this person right and your situation with them and how to handle it however you're doing it your way you're wearing this mask energy pretending that everything is fine but inside you're dying what you really want and wish for is for a lot of you it's just marriage for a lot of you it's being able to select somebody who understands you in the way that you need to be understood you've acted in rash ways before where you'll just cut somebody off abruptly walk away and then miss them and wish for them again 
And then you come to the tarot card and tell you, oh, is your person coming back? Oh, it, the tarot cards cannot fix your own, you know, wishy-washiness. I mean, you're lucky here because apparently this person's brutally honest message to you is that they want to, uh, you know, these are all great cards. They're grounded, uh, you know, they, you know, they want to be uh, patient with you. These are somebody waiting for their ships to come in. Um, they're not going to give you everything that you need financially if you want that from them because they're working on their own coins, their own pentacles, their own stability. But this is somebody who's willing to be patient with you if you let them even if you guys have gone through so many rounds of walking away, Aquarius, stick around, stick around. End of the video, you're going to find a bonus reading after Sagittarius and a motivational talk for all of the signs. Let's move on now to Pisces. Pisces, your person's brutally honest messages to you. Okay, you guys, your, per your persons don't really feel like being so brutal this time. Thank goodness, yeah? This is very good. Um, I feel good energy from this. It's like, okay, your person is like, okay, I'm calming down. Um, they want to win with you. Didn't I tell you I was feeling good energy? This is a great card. This is somebody who wants to move forward. They're like, listen, I'm calming down. Um, you know, whatever it is that we can work out. I still have it on my mind. I know that I can be a mess sometimes. Energies always change. Jeez Louise. Um, this, this is somebody you either cut off or cut you off for some reason. You had a communication issue with them. And I feel like this person was like pointing fingers with that sword pointing. It's like, you know, there was a clash here. Yeah. Two Kings. There can't be two Kings ruling over a kingdom. Can there? So yeah, this person can get a little bit competitive, even in romantic connections. Yes. Um, and they felt competitive with you in a sense. They felt like that's what led to a particular type of crash. However, they're embracing what is their fault and having that turnover happen. You see, the death card is not necessarily about um, a, a final ending, although it can be. Let me go pick up your cards. I was being dramatic there. Hold on. Funnily enough, it was this card that fell. Um, and I'm not, I'm not surprised because I feel like something is churning and changing here with you and this person. And I do feel this person is remorseful about it. They feel that they should have, you know, taken a different stance and I don't blame them. They feel like, uh, like I was saying to you, the death card isn't always a final ending, although it can be. Um, sometimes the death card is about transformation, things ending so that things can transform. And I feel that you two have gone through various cycles there with the world card. Uh, there's a closure issue that you could be dealing with. And, you know, I know that this person carries a heavy heart about it. Yeah, I know. Nine of Wands energy. That's literally them carrying a certain type of burden, uh, speeding up themselves really about it and hoping um, to sort of take a more balanced, mature stance because right now, yeah, I do feel this person is in more pain than you realize from this whatever disaster happened because they meant to express this which was more of the love more of that two of cups energy which is um uh, much more invested in you but they it just didn't come out right and then you seem to just be like la la that's okay i'll be fine i'm having a good time and i think by them seeing you or feeling that energy from you uh you're not showing them the pain that they put you through it's like you're hiding that the hermit mode inside and you're saying to yourself i've got my ego sorry my value my dig my dignity some of you have even cussed this person person out and um, because you're like my ego my value you're not going to deplete me right but you miss this person you just don't miss the drama that love comes with. It really breaks you. It breaks your heart. What you want is your, yeah, oh, you want your happiness, don't you? Well, listen, there's something here that needs time. That's why the temperance is showing up. That's why the three of wands is showing up. It's really all about time, healing all wounds. You need a brand new beginning. You guys need to start afresh because whatever it is that happened, it seems like it needs a reset button to be pressed. And you know what? My signature reset button. That's the restart button that is being pressed right now um, because uh, the conflict here that has happened has caused injury, right? Um, it's the tower card. It's not just that this showing up that's problematic, but it's also tower on both sides. It's also now a, a, um, a sort of retreat on both sides because, it, you know, something stung a little. I think somebody said something they shouldn't have, did something they shouldn't have. So that sting 
you know, caused the fissure, it caused the breakage, it caused the tower moment, all those difficult cards with the swords, most importantly, this heartbreak here, you know, it's not just one person that feels this stuff, you know, Pisces, Pisces, believe it or not, your person can feel things too. You know, I think you think your person is just made of steel. No, they feel it too. And I know you want your happiness and you have your dignity and you're tired of waiting is what you're saying. And so you want to go find your joy. You know, in fact, I see two nights here. So literally some of you are like, I'll just go find another person because I don't want any drama. And I have my ego. I have my pride, you know, and then you retreat, even though when you retreat, you're thinking about this person. I understand that about you, but everybody's not perfect. Number one. Number two is while your person is dealing with, you know, your absence, your loss, they're being patient and they want to win with you because they feel that there is something here that is not properly closed. Moreover, you guys both have the two of cups energy. Whom are you fooling? You still have feelings for each other and they are showing up strongly. Okay, Pisces, let's move on. Stick around, stick around, Pisces. Uh, fast forward to the end of the video and you will see a motivational talk as well as a bonus reading for all the signs. Moving on to Aries, let us see brutally honest messages from your person to you, Aries. What is going on? Um, You have, oh, jeez. Okay, why the seven of wands? It's a bit defensive. It's almost as if your person is taking a stance, putting their foot down and saying, I'm not going to take stuff from you anymore. I'm sick of this, you know, and it's almost as if they're being very self-defensive, like really sort of batting you away for no reason. Look at that. Well, the reason is they're tired of the back and forth. They feel like the energy is like a wispy energy that goes back and forth and they want to build with somebody. They want to grow up. This is somebody who wants to grow up. Um, somebody who wants to be, ah, oh, why are they being so, the funny thing is, this is crazy because this is somebody who wants to grow up, be with the right person, right? Empress and emperor, doesn't matter your gender or sexuality. And they want to connect in a way that is very deeply committal. Why are they saying that it is stuck with you, broken with you and difficult for you to get the wish fulfillment and come to the judgment that they want? They've tried actually to talk to you about it. You've put them between a rock and a hard place. They've tried to be lighter about it, more playful, celebrate with you because they do see potential with you. But at the end of the day, moving forward has not happened how they see it, how they envision it. Moving forward has been a challenge between you and this person. And yet, oh, wow, this person is going to have a choice to make. They want family. They want love, you know, but they can't see sometimes what you're thinking. They find that you're a source of heat, energy, and happiness, but they can't see what you're thinking. And they feel like you put them between a rock and a hard place with all the ultimatums, all the this, all the that. Um... You know, it's very interesting and tricky because this person is just about as hard on themselves as you are on them, you know, and yet somehow when you do it, it becomes a source of toxicity for either you or them. Something here is awry. It's causing you also. Yeah, this is some depression, some need for therapy. You know, you turn to work to self-medicate, but you're hurting. You see that it's, it's not enough to go and work and, you know, all of that because you have some, some issue here that is bothering you at the core of you something is breaking there's a fissure here happening in fact it feels cyclical to me i wouldn't be surprised if i saw the world card because you tend to attract the same type of person it's showing um you want to move forward too you're like hey i don't understand tell this person i would love to move forward i would like listen if there's anything i need to do but you see you're feeling distance from them you know that's what's making it hard too it's like there's distance there's travel there's all of this stuff that's making you overthink you're not sure yeah see how you guys are both confused the moon is hiding so much you don't know if you're going to end up you see you see uncertainty you don't know if you're going to end up single or if you're going to you know and the funny thing is if you could just see eye to eye you guys you would see that you actually wish for the same exact thing literally the wish is on both sides with the star card. Um, the growth and, and abundance is on both sides with the Empress card. Um, even the need for commitment, believe it or not, is on both sides. Like, it's not like you're picking up somebody, you know, who doesn't want it. I think they want to grow up, though. I think they feel something here is too juvenile. I think they try to, you know, keep it light with you, but you, you went out of your way to make something difficult for them. And they were like, you know, I'm tired of this, whatever it is that they're calling childish or back and forth or unstable. I don't know. I think they're really pointing to really your temperament. And, you know, that breaks you. 
people can't say whatever they want without it breaking other people. I think, you know, sometimes people can temper the way they talk. And I think when you get broken, you feel down, you isolate yourself and you start to say, okay, I'll do everything by myself. You know, even if you're in a connection long term, you will start to break down, you know, into nervousness and depression is what's showing up here because somebody has enraged you. You see, you don't like to be addressed in that way, even though this chariot is here. This is your spiritual Uber, beep, beep, to take you guys both to the next phase because you, I see you have feelings for each other, two of cups and the lovers. There's just too much of what you don't know. The moon card showing up um, on both your parts because you don't know enough about each other. You're still needing to learn. And I, the minute you admit that, the minute you admit that, wait, maybe the reason we're stuck, despite our wish to have reconciliation or to move, you know, from this stuck place is because there's still things we don't know. You're afraid and your person is afraid that if they find out there could be a disaster. Well, find out. Let there be a disaster. Do you see what I'm saying? All right. Taurus, brutally honest messages. Everybody stick around. End of the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus reading. Hello to my schnookums. Let's get started. Taurus, you have your first brutally honest message is talking about the lovers. Okay. All right. Well, that's a great message. However, I feel it's a choice that this person is making. Oh, this person is saying, listen, I will put my all in you if you show me that it is safe. This person needs a safe house in you. These are excellent cards, though. Somebody wants to work in tandem with you, cooperate with you, and get that, um, that sense of joy again from you that they feel. They're slowly doing it, slowly approaching. Um, they want to come around, you know, because you, you've gone through so many cycles with this person that they don't know which is, you know, which way to go. <laughs> You know, are they moving forward? Are they moving backward? This is somebody who wants to know. Um, this is also somebody who feels uh, a certain sense of satisfaction when you two are getting along. You're part of this person's wish fulfillment. Um, you also are part of this person's long-term plan, believe it or not. That's the Ten of Pentacles. They don't want to release you. It would hurt them, to be honest, Taurus, to release you. So they're waiting on a sign. They're waiting on something that tells them to move forward. Reconciliation. I just spoke about about moving forward and the chariot comes out beep beep that spiritual uber to move you guys forward Taurus I don't think your person wants to give up on you and if you thought that they did I would say that this message is a very clear message brutally honest message that they do not right you want to build with them well you've got yourself showing up here the empress card uh, and you've got the hierophant card in the past you felt like there's been an issue here that this preventing you from being long term and you worried hey am I going to be single in solo like it literally kept you up you were worried about it it was horrible and now you're saying what we can move forward i'm down for that i've been strong um i've waited a long time with the temperance card showing up here you know you've wanted things to progress for a long long time and if your person is open for it i don't know why it has to be so conditional taurus why can't it just be a decision that you've made okay some of you are saying it's because okay well because i gave a lot i did this i did that you know you're saying you put in uh, a lot and now you feel blocked because you've waited a long time. Um, and I don't blame you. Um, you know, sometimes when you wait a long time for candy, it's like, do you know what? I don't want the candy anymore. And that's that's the kind of stance that Taurus is, you know, is taking here. Um, you see them slowly approaching, but you fear that this has gone through so many cycles. It's really bothering you. You don't know if you're going to get a certain apology. You don't know. See, see the don't know, the confusion, the options, you know, mixed signals that you're getting. It bothers you, right? Because you don't like, you're the kind of person who doesn't like to tremble. You don't like to be up because it'll cause you anxiety in no time, anxiety and depression. And it'll make you feel alone. Like, okay, I'm going to have to deal with this on my own. It breaks you down a bit and you don't like that feeling. But once that feeling is settled, you start to think to yourself, this is not a bad person. Maybe there's a chance here for you to actually invest in whatever this person is offering. Maybe there's a chance for you to move slowly towards longevity with this person and work on it and give, you know, continue giving, even though you feel like you're the giver. And so you try to be strong. Yeah. But it puts you to at a place where you might go through a few of these rounds, right? A few of these cycles before, you know, somebody gives in. And you know that, which is why sometimes you can be guarded. Rest assured, though, this is a good reading in terms of your person like, you know, they've kept you waiting, right? They're acknowledging that. 
but they're also saying everything else that's great. They're saying they want to invest long term. You know, the pentacles are coming out, which is very good for your sign. You're an earth sign. And these are very grounding energies. So I don't think that this person is necessarily here to BS you. I think this person actually slowly but surely wants to invest and move forward. Even looking at this investment house, I know this is wands energy and fire energy. This is an investment house. It's solidity. It's marriage. Um, and this person wants that brand new beginning in which they can get their wish fulfillment with you. They just want things to be lighter, more playful. And most importantly, they want it to be more fair. They want things to be fairer. Okay, so expect this person to approach you even if they've moved far away. For some of you, they feel like they've moved or they're not near you at the time of this reading. Um, expect, though, that things will change and you'll be able to access them. Okay, all right, moving on now to Gemini. Gemini let's have you next Gemini welcome schnookums how you doing hit the subscribe button that'll get you instant schnookum status let's see your person's brutally honest message to you my darling um it looks like huh oh you've got you've got a you've got a returner darling if you have somebody who has somehow turned their back on you or something of the sort, yeah, I think this person is eventually returning. They're not going to let you go. Not that easily. Mm -mm. Yo, brand new beginning. That's what oh, Tara Alexa wants to say. That's the restart button happening there. Somebody wants to return. They want to build. They want to invest. They want to do this long term. Do you know why? Well, they've gone out there and seen the options and now they're like, oh, <laughs> sorry, uh, I feel broken. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, can I return? Hard and fast energy just swinging right at you with that eight of wands begging for this new beginning because they are receiving breadcrumbs peons and imbalance from going outside of you that is really just brutal not just towards you but it's brutal for them simple and short this is also somebody who could have possible um, possibly suffered a job loss um, or some kind of you know financial affect is showing up here it could be you know very likely because this person is also saying that part of the reason for some of their behavior um, is because they felt a little bit financially imbalanced they just weren't earning what they needed to and you know I'm sure the the ending with you or whatever made you feel abandoned was very abrupt you didn't expect it you had a hunch though I feel like this person tried to tell you a little bit about where they stood financially and um, you didn't feel like you could help you tried to send your little red cross flag but it was too you can't raise somebody you're not their mother parent father whatever and you spend a lot of time thinking about ways that you can um, make somebody mold somebody into this fantasy that you have in your head this person is saying they are who they are uh, i think you've had a, a lot of time by yourself okay this is oh this is a lot of time by yourself now gemini with this gemini um this hermit uh and you know nines are very independent numbers in tarot you've got the nine showing up here uh, this is almost single solo. Uh, this is depressive energy, you going inwards. And this is definitely you going inwards with the four swords, going inwards and really thinking almost obsessively about this person. You want to make them pay though, Gemini. And that's such a hard energy. I don't know what to tell you about that. You want to make them pay because you feel like they knocked you off balance and that you got less than what you deserved. And Gemini, that's not your true spirit. Your true spirit is the lover's card. That's actually literally what represents you in tarot. And I don't know how to tell you about making them pay. All they know is that they messed up. They know that there needs to be a brand new beginning here and they're trying to decipher how to get it to you. This is ascending, page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, two of pentacles. Then you have the six of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, even the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and the king of pentacles. I'm telling you, this person has been all about their pentacles, all about their coins. They've been trying to achieve a certain sense of stability. They knew that when they got it, they would speak, they would come back around, they would approach you in love and they would clear the air. This person wants nothing more than to, to reunite with you. I don't know if you're having it. I think that they put you through th some toxicity. I think that you try to help them. Some of you even financially, you've tried to help them. If not that, you've tried to show them that finance didn't matter, but they didn't find that to be true. 
they find that to be a lie. They find that, no, it matters. And so, you know, I think you're still wounded. Okay. You're showing a lot more wounds than they are in your reading. Death card, nine of wands, energy, 10. Oh, 10 of wands, nine of swords. You know what I mean? Like all of this retreating as well, very much silent right now, because you are stuck between a rock and a hard place, trying to think, even overthink about how to get out of this rut, this feeling that you want them, miss them, but have given way too much and it has drained you, my darling. Okay. Stick around. End of this video. There's always going to be a bonus reading and a motivational talk. Now let's move on to Cancer. Cancer, how are you doing? Brutally honest message from your person to you. If you are new here, hit the schnookums button. Hello to my existing schnookums. All right, Cancer, you've got the Eight of Swords. Your person is really in a rut thinking about how the direction of this connection has gone. Uh, yeah, really in a rut. Death card coming out, Cancer. I'm sorry to hear that, but they're just being brutally honest. They think that, you know, as far as things have gone, you know, they could come to a crashing halt and they've tried to hold on, hang on. They're very nervous about it, you know, but keeping strong. They don't want you to see them weak for some reason. They feel like you are either zaddy or... <laughs> or mommy energy. They feel like you have something about you that helps them uh, straighten themselves. This is somebody who wasn't always straightened, right? And they met you and you brought a ray of sunshine to them. You taught them how to be much better, how to be a star. And for that, they wanted to be with you so badly long-term. Oh my God, this person, if you have kids or want kids or were in that phase, they definitely wanted to raise somebody with you, okay? <laughs> Even if it's your own children, but something toxic obviously happened and it caused a little bit of a disconnect, a break that stopped them from being able to build in the same trajectory as they had in mind. Um, you know, I don't blame them. Sometimes people just get into ruts. Um, this person is coming out of it, though there's something here that's still hidden that you can't see about them. The cards are warning you that you really need to get to know people before you, you know, put your eggs all in one basket, you know, because the things about this person you don't know, very difficult truths that you may want to learn, realize before you invest your time and energy effort, particularly when you talk to your friends uh, about this person. This person has a little bit of a wait period. There's a slowdown in this connection, very slow down. Yeah, they slow down a lot. Um, so there's a little bit of a wait period here for this person in case you are wondering. Yes, they do wish for you. Yes, Yes, you do make them happy, but there are things you can't see right now that they're dealing with, okay? Um, I think you've softened up your energy towards this person, but you still don't trust them. There's something here that you don't trust. You need evidence is what you're saying. You're seeing, you're seeing something and you're saying, before I give my heart, before I invest all the way, I need evidence. This connection has gone in and out for you, even though you've wanted commitment. You're even ashamed to say that you want commitment for, from this person, but you do. It's a restart. Boop. It's a new opportunity for love here that's showing up for you. Um, some things have been tough, but even despite this heartbreak, I see you uh, wishing for this person to return because they turn their back on you in some way. Even if you live with them every day, you feel like you want to shorten this wait in peri waiting period that's showing up on both your sides with the three of wands energy. You want uh, a certain type of mutual wish to come true. Like you're wishing that, hey, you know, if this person really, really wishes for you, you hope to see that wish come true. This is another wish card showing up here in the Nine of Cups energy. For those of you who have choices, um, a part of you knows that um, you don't want to pretend anymore that you wouldn't choose this person. Uh, by hook or by crook, despite the fact that you literally don't trust them, Cancer, something here is keeping you bound, uh, almost in a way that breaks your heart. Well, if it's breaking your heart, Cancer, why are you not releasing? Do you enjoy the pain? Um, I think you just still are holding on to a certain type of vision. For you, structure is important and leaving, quitting is just not in your DNA. And so even though this person is kicking and screaming and they're showing you red flags and, you know, they're showing you certain things about themselves, you're, you're saying to yourself, okay, I've seen what I need to see, death card, devil card also showing up and this connection has slowed down, but I want to kind of find out what is behind this moon because a lot of you are hopeful. And you could be right that behind this moon is something bright. Behind what you don't know about them could be something really, really great and phenomenal. And you have this hope here that they sold to you, this dream that they sold to you of longevity, of coupledom, empress and emperor showing up. 
uh, divine counterparts, it doesn't matter whether you're male, female, gay, or straight, you still have that dream with this person that they've showed, shown to you and you want to hang on to it. Only time and more waiting, my darling, will tell. Let's move on to Leo. Leo, what are the brutally honest messages that we can tell you from your person to you, Leo? Um, I think this person is pulling their energy back, just drawing it back a little bit. Um, they are very well aware that they've breadcrumbed you for a while, led you on about something, a particular fact that you've been led on about. Hello, by the way, to my existing schnookums. If you're new here, hit the schnookums button. That's the subscribe button. That'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. This person could have children to take care of. Okay, they want to do right by their children if they have any. If they don't, they're just saying that, listen, um, it takes a whole lot more than the physical uh, to make connections, right? So there have been conflicts here that, you know, you two have probably tried to resolve physically and that didn't work. No surprise there, right? It still ended in a crash, still ended in this death card, seven of wands energy. And yet this person is like really bothered by that. They want another chance to show you that something here can be improved and so because they're bothered by it they feel distant from you right now yeah they feel very distant with the six of swords energy that's emotional or physical distance you have them walking away uh no you have yourself walking away turning your back because you don't like the the imbalance right uh something here some tower moment you know has pushed you sort of to the edge somehow I don't know how it's pushed you to the edge and made you feel a bit jittery. Yeah, there's some heartbreak and baggage that you're dealing with and you've promised yourself. I remember uh, when you promised yourself or <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking your tone now, I'm not even a Leo, but Leo saying, I remember when I promised myself that should I have a new beginning with somebody, I was going to keep my dignity intact. Do you remember that promise you made to yourself, Leo? Because that promise is showing up here now and it's reminding you again that you're attracting a toxicity that you promised yourself you wouldn't at uh, attract anymore. So what are you going to do? Are you going to return to a place where uh, you're happy and the sun is shining on you and you remember your promise? Or are you going to uh, stay stuck here in a place that hurts a little bit. Three of Swords energy to the Ten of Swords. This person is feeling distant, like I told you. It bothers them. Don't get me wrong. It bothers them to cause you any sort of offense. But the thing is, they are defensive, right? It's like they know they cause offense, but then they're defensive. And it causes like a little bit of competitiveness between the two of you. Why do you have two Queen of Wands? You can't have that. There's only one Queen. Right. So when you get along, it's cool. But when you don't, it's not right. And you just want to be compatible and speak the same love language as this person. But things keep happening. Signs keep exploding. Tower card, the devil card, you know, five of pentacles, even the death card on their side showing you to that. OK, there's conflict resolution that needs to happen here because this is happening too often um, and it's causing you to. OK, you know what? It's causing you to walk away because you feel that it's hard. But guess what? You return. That's what's causing it the back and forth energy. Energy. That's what's causing you your own imbalance. You have to look at the opportunities here for the new beginnings between the two of you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Three new beginnings. Aces are always new beginnings. Which one do you want? How do you want this to go? Because now the choice is yours. The Lovers card is all about choices. You have a marriage card and commitment card showing up here. But you're saying one thing and doing another, Leo. And the cards are calling you out. The cards are also saying, listen, if it's going to be a new choice that's physical, understand that it's based on physical and don't expect anything more. If it's going to be committal, this person could be down for that. Okay. But they've spent so much time independent that they need a little bit of a push. They've spent so much time breadcrumbing that they need a bit of a push. Are you willing to put that work in, right? And trust that they will do right by you. It is up to you to use your wisdom, wield your wand. You are a fire sign and wands represent fire. It is up to you to wield your wand and use your wisdom and decide about this person. They have loads of potential, but they've also been very truthful uh, with you about the pain that they have caused and the breadcrumbing that they have done. Okay. All right. Stick around. Stick around. End of the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus reading for all of the signs. Let's move on to Virgo. Hello to my existing schnookums. How are you guys doing? Keep in mind uh, that there is always a bonus reading and a motivational talk at the end of this. Uh, if you're not one of us, hit the schnookums button. That ought to get you 
free and instant access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Let's move on here. Um, brutally honest message from your person to you. This is not looking very brutal at all, Virgo. In fact, this is looking very lovely. With the sun, uh, there's a moon card here um, that's blocking something. But the sun is very, very good. So is the empress. You know, beautiful energy showing up with the emperor. Somebody here is very much enamored with you okay it doesn't matter your gender and sexuality these two are very very divine counterparts and somebody oh the person you're thinking of definitely wants to win with you with that six of wands energy that's literally a victor coming home to his or her spoils now you may have noticed that this person has some baggage right that they carry from past relationships they're really uh, in fact, it's almost rude to the point where when they make reference to somebody they've dated, you're like, okay, well, who cares? Why are you telling me about that? Don't want to be compared, you know? Um, but, you know, they're just being truthful and honest and showing you their scars is what this person is saying. I'm showing you my scars because I actually have feelings for you. Um, this person is also trying to manifest you in their life in a way that works out. They, you see, I keep hearing this person say, I wanted to work out this time. I wanted to work out this time. What is it about this time around, you know, um, that is so crucial to this person? That's what you've got to figure out. The things that they're not saying. Why is it this time around, you know, and what's this baggage about that they keep pointing to or showing in the cards? That's something that's going to be very important and useful for you. You also feel like this is a very hardworking person and they're telling you that even if they point their attention to their work, it's because they feel that connections, yeah, the connections need stability, don't they? Yeah, this is all work. Pentacles showing up, financial stability, pentacles really meaning coins okay now i see you with the emperor you're very cooperative when you want to be but other times you can be very defensive and explosive right really just sort of like letting your temper lead rather than letting your your higher self lead and that's you know that's something you've been struggling with especially lately you're like do you know what i'm better than this why am i not letting the wisdom that i know i have lead that's what the self-toxicity and the work that you've been doing on yourself has been all about recently and you know what i actually commend you for that because it takes time to find you know one's correct connection and soulmate and you're taking your time right now to kind of figure out you know why it is you go through the same patterns and cycles with people and i can't fault you for that right because you know all of us need to do some of that reflection but you're doing it very heavily virgo this is you again um the knight of pentacles is you um this is you looking for a new star in love but really feeling alone and very very single some of you have been single for a long time but you have people whom you've had in mind as you know potential partners you just want to win um, you, you're tired of settling for the crumbs, the basis level crumbs. What you would like is something that matches your vision in love. Um, and you've talked to the universe about it. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps being blocked with the moon here. I don't know what it is you can't see, why your person is hiding it from you. But it's making you sad, overthink, imbalance, insecure. You two have uh, certain baggage issues that are coming out for the both of you. But you're just trying to be strong and, and, and see you know, with your person, how things go. Well, there's a potential here, right? You've got the king to the queen of cups. They speak the same love language and you can see that. That's what takes you through many cycles with this person because you can see that you have room for compatibility. What slows you guys down is you actually share the same types of trauma, believe it or not. You trauma bond sometimes with that three of swords on both of your sides and that leaves you feeling this sense of imbalance, Virgo. You feel imbalanced. You feel almost this distance, emotional and or physical distance from your person, keeping you nervous and making you feel like essentially you're alone. Well, you also have the emperor showing up here and they have the empress. This tells me that, you know, when all is said and done, if you guys can actually work through your issues, you have a potential mate here who wants to approach you in love, who uh, likes to accomplish things. This is an accomplisher energy, okay, and a manifester energy. And they're saying, in fact, that you make them happy. So there's an opportunity here for a new beginning and clearing the air, but that clearing the air has to happen. For some of you, there's been such a long period of silence now that how is this clearing of the air and the truth telling going to happen? You don't know because so much time has passed. Temperance is time. 
you're being very guarded and self-defensive and yet you, you're facing this person because you're thinking you know what if we just work it out some of my misery will be put down but it's not up to somebody else to put down your misery and it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to settle for breadcrumbs or whether you want to stay strong and wait for the right connection it is literally up to you i know it's tempting um you know to kind of give up but you know there are things still here yet to discover you have the moon they have the moon and both of you have this emperor empress energy which means that the connection still has some heat to it it's still strong it's still going stick around end of the video there's a bonus reading for all of the signs as well as a motivational talk let us move on now to libra your turn libra hello my existing schnookums if you're not one of us hit the schnookums button that's the subscribe button it'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts listen libra your person's first brutally honest message to you is that they can't get through okay they've been trying manifesting you they can't get through have you blocked somebody because they can't they can't reach you this is somebody wow okay i don't know why but you you keep pulling people or this person who seems to have you know very intense deep you know feelings for you with the lovers and the sun oh my god do you know what i mean like these are really intense oh my god look see empress see the fool it's like they're intense cards of deep enamorment with you and yet something seems to have crashed here it's due to ego due to somebody not speaking look at all the swords you know not pointing in the right direction um you know somebody not wanting to use their voice and this and that and the other do you know what i mean um and so this person is feeling abandoned listen they can't get through i don't know if you've blocked or whatever it's really heartbreaking for them um they don't i see the thing is why don't they use their voice just talk you know they want to cooperate with you but i think do you know what you must be very tired of having to lead and so um you know there's love here but it's not it's not yielding what it can because i feel like this person is too chicken to drive the ship let's be honest let's be brutally honest why are you expecting libra to okay there you go good job they they're saying they have felt stuck they have tried to lead but they have felt stuck because what they feel they have to offer you you have made them feel that it's not enough so it feels like a challenge almost to be with you fair enough but mm, i don't like the blamey kind of thing like why don't you shoot your best shot rather than saying oh well libra probably requires a lot is that what libra said let's find out um Libra is like, wait, what? Huh? Me? I'm just over here minding my business. Got the sun going, got the, you know, self-fulfillment going. Oh, look at you having a good time with yourself, Libra. Le oh, it's, it's birthday season. No wonder you're like, I have no idea what anybody's talking about. Look at that, Libra. Your sun is your first card. And you're literally closing yourself off to anything that isn't your wish right now okay it being october i see why you're taking this stand all right i get it i get it well darling you're pulling higher celestial cards some of you are saying i don't have time for anything that's petty and that won't work um for me in fact you're you're turning your back literally and finding options elsewhere some of you feel that this person has depleted you and made you feel ghosted alone um and wrong for putting them on this pedestal right the emperor would be the pedestal for you because you're the empress doesn't matter if you're male or female gender or sexuality the empress simply represents libra in tarot that is the sign or the symbol that is chosen for your sign and some of you just want to have a good time at this point uh you're losing your sense of balance and self um and you don't want to you want to have a good time and yet whenever you encounter this person it's like your good time is brought down by burden 
feeling badly about yourself, feeling like, you know, where are your options? You want to move away from, you know, caustic roundabout energy into an energy that places you, yes, right smack, smack dab in the middle of yourself. The justice also represents you. Some of you are actually going to find yourself in a commitment marriage, something of the sort, something that you wish for very soon. You're, you're getting closer towards it. This Uber, this spiritual Uber, my trademark phrase, beep, beep, is going to get you from one phase of your love life into another, making you much happier than you've been in a long time. It's a blessing that comes with your birthday, I suppose, and comes with this Hierophant card, which symbolizes a lot of marriage stability, so on and so forth. In the meantime, I say do away with all of this confusion that you attract to yourself sometimes. It's very burdensome. It makes you sad and it's just not worth it. You have more love to give than you uh, realize because of the people that you pick. Pick more wisely when making these decisions. Pick wisely, the cards are saying. In fact, they are warning. As far as your person is concerned, they are understanding your worth, they, but they feel like what they have to give is not enough. I feel like I said that already. You want this king of cups. In fact, you'll even take a knight of cups, but you end up getting this page and they know that it's not good enough for your standards. They know that they've tried and tried. And, you know, even though for you, it's a little bit of trying and it's not enough, it makes them feel self-conscious and guarded. It may breaks their heart, honestly, because I know that this person is truly enamored with you. Yeah. With all these cups coming out, cups are emotion right? And I know that this person has loads of emotion for you, but tends to feel abandoned. That's their issue, not yours. If their abandonment is triggered, it's their issue, not yours. What you do is you end up going and absorbing it all for no reason. Don't do that. Let people work. Let people earn it, Libra. Moving on, everybody stick around. End of the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus reading for all of the signs. So stick around to get that. We're going to move on to Scorpio now. Scorpio, welcome to your, ex welcome to your, welcome to your brutally honest messages from your person to you, Scorpio. Let's see what the brutally honest messages are. Hello to my existing schnookums. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a good one. Uh, if you're not one of my schnookums, hit the schnookums button. That's the subscribe button. We'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Scorpio, your person is basically just kind of being, um, they're teasing a little bit. Uh, they know that you're very physically attracted to them, lots of fire here, um, but they're making you work a little bit. They are being, um, they, they're, they're being self-defensive, okay? It's a seven of wands energy. They're pushing back uh, just a little bit to get you to prove to them uh, that you are worth you know, their communication and time, King of Wands, energy showing up. Yeah, you two had definitely a back and forth situation here. And your person might, mm, yeah, this is hidden. So your person could, mm, I don't like how that split. Yeah, I don't like it. Seven of Swords coming out. So somebody here is not actually being honest about where this connection was going to go. It could have been you, it could have been your person, but your person stopped trusting something or you stopped trusting something because you two were supposed to end up here in a great divine counter partnership. And somebody just started to check out all of a sudden. The dream became a dream deferred. That's what your person is saying. They're like, I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. You know, they're like, it wasn't me. They're on some shaggy stuff. Um, and there's competitiveness between you and this person rather than love. I think this person has a huge potential for love. But when there are two queens here, it just gets a little too competitive. And you have two knights. So, you know, there's, there's something here that tells me that you two either need to choose each other or leave each other alone. You want to be happy. We know that, Scorpio. Um, but you're asking, okay, well, can I find happiness in this person? You have to first find it in yourself, darling. This, co this connection has slowed down because, you know, a lot of people have provided input. Aunties, uncles, you know, like friends. It's like, no, mature and have the input for yourself. You know, both of you two are thinking that something is up each other's sleeve for some reason. 
and being distrustful of each other. You are spying with this, you know, spycraft card. Even watching this video is spying. You know, you're like, oh, what's this person going to do? You know, you're afraid of sinking into a new low with this person because you two have already gone back, you know, toe to toe with each other for no reason. The funny thing is about this connection is that it is so compatible, actually. It has a lot of compatibility elements in it. Look, you have the Empress and the Emperor on your side and the Empress and the Emperor on this person's side. These are divine counterparts. They're great together. But what happens is when you two get too close to each other, you start to really, you know, think, oh, what if they see the real me, Scorpio? And then you get scared and then you clam up and then you walk away or you get defensive. Now, when they see you get defensive and run and do all the weird things that you do when you're scared or afraid of somebody seeing the real you, okay, well, they get defensive too. Do you see what I'm saying? And so it pushes you guys farther away from each other and makes your person distrustful. Your person is literally saying to you bluntly and honestly, I don't trust you. I don't trust the pace of this. I don't trust how this has gone back and forth forth um your person is showing you know that they think that you might have other people interested in you and you're saying well i think you have other people interested in you i mean both of you are like what is this two nights here two nights there and the funny thing is when you put all of them together they make a great team because they're not the same knights this is pentacles swords wands and cups this is literally the completion of the suit so if you put them together it's a great team when you pull them apart it's like a duel and I kept telling you that you two are actually compatible because I kept seeing these coupling energies between the two of you. The queen of the swords goes with a king of swords, okay? Um, this person has a wish for you. This person thinks of you fondly and yet, you know, feels distant from you right now and feels like an apology is owed. What brings you two together sometimes is just your physical presence. And that's what you've been manifesting, seeing this person again, you know, spying on them, you know, waiting for the right time. Well, don't wait too long. Don't wait too long and understand whether or not you want this person and if this person is your final choice. Because if it is, then it would mean that this requires a brand new beginning, this reset, this full card, okay? And it can't have this competitive energy, this catty energy between these two queens. Doesn't matter your gender or sexuality. Stick around, stick around after Sagittarius. You will always see a bonus reading and a motivational talk, Scorpio. Sagittarius, we're moving on to you. You're the last but not least sign. We're going to do brutally honest messages from your person to you, Sagittarius. Let's see what we pull out, what they have to tell you. It's going to be brutal and it's going to be honest, darling. All right. Okay. If they mean that honestly, then that's really good. Okay. This is the judgment card. It's really very reconciliatory. <laughs> reconciliatory darling and um, it's about somebody who you know wants to come to terms with how things have turned out with you they want to lay their weapons down their swords down i just i knew swords would show the tarot alexa does this to me all the time where you know she likes to finish my sentences this is my handy assistant tarot alexa she likes to really pull my legs and do that so i said lay their swords down she gave me all the swords in the world i hear you i see you baby i know you're getting tired but we're on sagittarius so let's just give them their brutally honest reading shall we so listen uh lots of silence here with the four swords card um somebody who's pulling back pulling away really all the four is coming out for you even though this person has deep emotions right so the deep emotions are there two of cups energy but they feel the need to protect themselves for whatever reason go inward a little bit with that four swords and the hermit yeah mm -hmm. and in fact if you try to knock on their door they do this they bat you away with the seven of wands showing up and the seven of swords again showing up because they feel the need not to trust anybody at this time or to show anybody their inner stuff there's probably a loss of finances wealth or something of the sort going on here Boop! this person is looking for a brand new beginning a brand new start and they want to take back control of their life they want to do it with somebody who's worthy right wow i can't believe the emperor and the empress are coming out together like this so that means that whomever this person chooses to be loyal to they stick with that person this is a very loyal individual but in their history, in their past, somebody or something could have caused them pain in a way that caused them, you know, a cascade effect to not be loyal, to destroy, to cause pain, you know what I mean? And to betray. And so now they're walking around thinking that everybody who's been hurt like them is going to hurt like them and hurt them. 
Do you see what I'm saying? That's what keeps them stuck. That's what keeps this person a hard person to deal with. And that's what keeps them in pain. I'm telling you. But the thing is, I see this person still being enamored with you. Knight of Cups energy and Queen of Cups energy. This person feels like you have something about you that's like a shield. It feels like home to them, they're saying. I don't know what that means. But you feel like home. Um, you probably have some kind of maternal energy with the Empress and the Queen of Cups showing up there that they really enjoy. Even if you're a guy. Like you could be a do, 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 do with a deep voice and you still have something that's protective about you that they're very much attracted to you yeah i think you speak about you know long-term uh energy but you yourself have not been settled in love no you haven't your choices have been very unstable actually knight of wands energy something about them has not had a core so you get rocked to your core with the tower card there because what you want is a vision right you have this family but then you get stuck because of whom you pick on how to get there right you're stuck between this rock and this hard place with that two of wands energy and it can leave you sad for long periods of time um if anyone tries to tell you about it you tell them off in a message, you know, I think maybe you found yourself texting with somebody about your relationship issues and they called you toxic or, or they, call, they called out your inner demons and you gave them a lashing of your tongue, but you knew they were right. You knew that was something that was not fulfilling, that was causing you some pain and that needed to end. Well, you're working on yourself and I can see that and I can see you and I see that you still like this person or love this person, but you are working on yourself. You're reducing, hopefully, these opinions that you're getting from others and you're fighting these inner demons that you've dealt with for a long time because you do have a history here. I hate to call you out, darling, but you do have a history here of dealing with situations that can be a little shaky. This one has broken you not once, but twice at the very minimum. And this person knows that. That's why they feel guilty. That's why they themselves don't even trust themselves. OK, <laughs> but they're feeling very much, um, you know, the need, the need to withdraw at the moment. OK, this is very withdrawing energy, um, even your withdrawing. Right. So this is a bit hung at the moment with the hanged man. It's a lack of dynamism. But rest assured, you guys are thinking about each other. And I think there's a fondness here that's almost historical, that it doesn't go away. Um, and I think that this person knows that they can trust um, that the connection that they have with you was authentic, right? The Empress and the Emperor are very authentic creatures or powerful beings, I should say. Um, but it's just hard to get through to this person sometimes, and they know it about themselves. They want to be a lot more humble. They're trying to work on that and trying to show humility towards everything that you've been through and, and show some grace about the pain that they cause you sometimes, right? Um, and you want to be free to explore and to get over this person. But every time you try to weigh your options, my darling, you're brought right back to square one. You don't feel like this new beginning can happen without your person. Um, this person really needs to sort their abandonment issues. They don't feel present as they should. They feel like they're holding back and they're working on that. I feel like they're healing at the moment. This is my Red Cross card. And when they're ready to speak, they will. This is literally speaking. This is speech communication. But most of all, it's clearing the air, telling you, telling you the absolute truth there ace of swords energy all right everybody stick around let's get ready for our bonus reading our bonus reading coming right up for all the signs let's, let's have a look for the bonus reading today why don't why don't we do uh love life uh take a temperature of your love life right now how it's going and where it's going to go and just you know unique sort of three card spread just how is it going and where is it going to go my darling um all right, you've got the Justice card showing up there. Okay, so some of you don't feel like love has treating, treated, love has treated you fairly. You're just kind of like, ah, can you give me some good news? Because every single time I watch this, you tell me something that's remotely good or you tell me what the issue is and I keep praying to the heavens and yeah, nothing good is happening. So when will something good happen? When are you going to reverse this death card? I was going to leave it reversed, but I don't read reverse for you guys. Um, and this is telling me that, yeah, woe is you indeed. What you want, my darling, is to move away from this historical sort of attracting of woe, W-O-E. Woes and hoes is what you've attracted. Um, and you want to move away from that and get your wish fulfillment. You're literally begging the heavens at this point. You're saying, please either find me in a union or give me the satisfaction that I need. I'll do anything. But you keep running into dead ends. Um, you see, you, you do have new beginnings coming, though. Not to fret. I mean, I think there are enough aces pe peeking out that um, you have new beginnings that you can expect. I just think that some of you have a weakness in the flesh. 
okay, that you have to address. I can't address that on here, but you know what I'm talking about. You have a weakness in the flesh that gets you got. And that is a deeper, <laughs> that's a deeper issue that you have to work on on your own. But you are manifesting somebody. Um, and there's more to come, you know, with lots of energies, lots of fire, passion uh, in your direction. So that leads me to my motivational talk. My motivational talk today, what is my motivational talk going to be on? I think there is something to be said for excellence. That's what my motivational talk is. Yeah, there's something to be said for practice and excellence. And I wonder if it can, if it can be applied to love. You know, the more you do something, and I can say this in Latin, but I won't. But, uh, you know, I know somebody who said it literally all the time. The more you do something, the more you practice something, the more you become it. So practice makes perfect is the English translation of it. And, you know, I used to be so annoyed that I would be so multi-talented and have to choose one thing. Of course, you can do anything you want in the world. It's really not that serious. Nothing in this world is important. But just as we're here, we might as well shoot the breeze and philosophize and talk nonsense since we have the time for this motivational talk. And I was just wondering, you know, because literally... Um, these tarot cards, for example, for me, they become, I can, I can literally read them in my sleep, you know, granted it's my, it's my intuition as well at work. Um, but there's also a craft and a practice that by the time you've done it enough times, you know, it becomes almost an extension of you. And had I said, you know what, I'm going to do, you know, uh, I'm going to do tarot and then I'm going to do tap dancing and then I'm going to do, um, curtain embroidery. And then I'm going to do, you know, every single thing under the sun at once, perhaps I may not have had time. Of course, you know, we have to discount the fact that the pandemic gave me no other choice for the past three years. But um, my point is that uh, I wonder if this whole notion of practicing something until you're excellent at it works with love. Can we practice love with one thing, one focus, one perfection that we become so good uh, we can do it in our sleep or do him in our sleep or her in our sleep? <laughs> you know, what I'm talking about is, well, everybody says practice makes perfect, yeah? But why is it with things like basketball? alone we'll talk about it oh yeah i'm sure if you practice your piano lessons you'll be perfect at it because practice makes perfect and serena well she played tennis every day and then, so she became perfect at it well why is love the exception if we practice love every day should we not be perfect at it if we practice relating to somebody should we not be perfect at it what we don't do in this world, I think, is think of love as something to be practiced. We just find it there like air and we breathe it in, we breathe it out and it works organically. And a lot of us can get lucky and just the bonds make sense. Uh, but <laughs> I was never so great in chemistry, but the <laughs> the bonds, the molecules, the whatever it is that happens with air happens and, you know, you get lucky. And sometimes, of course, you divorce and the bonds break, don't they? Now, because it's so natural and organic and we don't think about it, I don't think any of us has the instinct to perfect love. I just wonder what happens if we do, if we actually take a set of values and we say, well, this is what works in relating to people. This is how to filter people, you know, and we take that in tandem with what we've learned about ourselves, right? Because love is a relational thing. If you don't love yourself enough, you can't love anybody else. You take what you've learned about yourself, you work through that, you find the practice in that. Practicing even boundaries is a challenge for some of us. Just saying freaking no is such a challenge, right? And saying what you mean rather than what you want other people to hear is a challenge. That's a challenge enough. So imagine you have to do that, work on, on that, practice that, then you have to practice how it works with other people because love doesn't happen in a vacuum. You have to take the time to practice and say, okay, now I know how to love myself. Now I know how to establish boundaries. Now I know how to say no. How do I then pair what I've learned about myself with somebody else? And then that takes another round of practice until we get it right. And the funny thing is, uh, many of us, you know, who have worked on ourselves will probably do 
very well with anyone else who is interested in working on themselves. And that's how you get Jordan and that's how you get Pippin. You don't pair Jordan with somebody who falls asleep every single day and has never touched a basketball a day in his life or her life. If you are Jordan with your self-love, look for your Pippin with his self-love. Look for somebody who practices as often and as seriously as you do. Look for somebody who takes your craft of love, of self-love seriously. Do not pair Jordan with a mosquito. Pair Jordan with Pippin. Get the right pair in love. Work on you first and be your best Jordan. And then go find somebody who is your Pippin, who is your one, at least as far as the bulls in the 90s were concerned. I don't know anything about post- that period. Okay. Have a good one. I'll catch you. See you later, Snookums.